Okay, so using Mavra's theorem, we're going to state Zn and Z to the minus 1. We're going to let Z equal cosine theta plus I sine theta. And so Z to the N is simply going to be cosine theta plus I sine theta to the power of N. Using de Mavra's theorem converts that to cosine N theta plus I sine N theta. Similarly, if I do to the negative N, which is one over Z to the N, I get cosine negative N theta plus I sine negative N theta. Well, let's look at these angles in the negative sign. One of the identities that we're aware of is cosine of negative X is equal to positive cosine of X. So that's the same thing as saying cosine of negative theta. Similarly, I know sine of negative X is equal to negative sine of X. And so this is minus I sine negative theta. If you're not sure of these, think about your unit circle and find out where they are on a unit circle and see if you can draw them yourself. So that is A part done. This is A completed. Now, it wants us to find Zn plus Z to the minus N. Well, to do B part, we're going to use some of the things we just calculated. First of all, Zn plus Z to the minus N is going to be cosine N theta plus I sine N theta plus a cosine N theta minus I sine N theta. Those terms cancel out because they're negative and positive, and so I have two cosine N theta. And this particular equation is quite handy to know. It pops up every now and then. Along with that, let's go find Zn minus z to the minus n. So using the same equations, plus i sine n theta minus this one, cosine n theta minus the minus, we plus i sine n theta. Those cancel, and I'm left with 2i sine n and theta. And again, this here is a very important relationship that comes up in many of our calculations with trig identities. And then finally, we are asked to show that sine of the power 4 is equal to this in terms of cosine. So we're looking for sine of the power 4. Okay, C part here, is this what we want to show? In order to show that, I'm looking for sine of the power 4. Well, <clears throat> here is sine. And I want this to be a 1, but I want the exponent to be 4. So let's start off by saying that z minus to the power 1 minus 1 over z this is to the power of 4. So this computation here is simply saying 2i sine theta, because n is 1 to the power of 4. But this, this here also says, let's move this out of the way for now. This also says, using binomial theorem, z to the power of 4 plus 4 z cubed minus 1 over z to the 1 plus 6 z squared minus 1 over z squared plus 4 z times minus 1 over z 
cubed plus z oh sorry minus 1z to the fourth these coefficients i just know them off by memory but they get them quickly on pascal's triangle or using your calculator so when i use binomial theorem and multiply that out i get this and if i simplify it i get z to the fourth minus minus four those cancel to get z squared plus well this is positive squared squared cancels plus six and this is a minus four well there's a z here and there's three z's on the bottom so it's z squared and a positive z to the minus four or I'll write it one over z to the fourth one over z to the fourth and I also realized I forgot to write this z on the bottom let's just double check that so z on the top three in the bottom so it ends up being z's on the bottom of it okay so now again I'm going to rewrite these and I'm going to rewrite them thinking about these relationships here for sine both sine and cosine so I can take z to the fourth plus one over z to the fourth there's a quantity I can take a minus four z squared plus one over z squared because the minus is out front and then finally plus six if I rewrite it well when I have z to the fourth plus one over z to the fourth that's the cosine relationship where n is four so this is now is the same saying two cosine four theta let me make sure I get that right wrote that right and indeed it is two cosine four theta minus four times two cosine well this time it'll be two theta plus six I'm also going to start to simplify this side here two i to the power of four is 16 i to the power of four sine four theta which if I look here I'm going to I know my final objective is to make the equation look like this and so keeping that in mind I'm going to pull out I want the six to be a three so I'm going to pull out a factor of two so two cosine four theta minus four cosine two theta plus three i to the power of four is equal to positive one so it's 16 sine to the four theta and if I divide by 16 I get one over eight cosine four theta minus four cos two theta plus three I end up with my identity and so making these trig identities from imaginary numbers is a little tricky we start off with just the adding or subtraction of z and its reciprocal then depending upon if we want sine we're going to subtract it if we add it we're going to use if we want cosine we add it expand it out by the binomial theorem and then using these two identities which you don't need to know by heart but they're often handy sometimes in exams you'll have to derive them as I just did sometimes you just have to know them sometimes they give it to you depends upon the question you work it through use binomial theorem and the regrouping idea and you're able to show the identity you're looking for